So what they're asking us in this one, ladies and gentlemen, is to apply the composition of two functions. Okay. So when applying this type of problem, what we're simply going to do is you're going to have f of x equals 2x squared minus 5 and g of x equals x squared minus 7. Okay. So what we're going to be doing for this type of problem is now, again, remember, if we say, what does exactly g of x mean? Remember, g of x is equal to x squared minus 7. So if I said g of negative 1, you put in negative 1 in for x, right? If I say g of 0, you put in 0 in for x. Yes? It doesn't matter what I'm plugging in. Whatever you put into those parentheses instead of x, that's what you plug into the formula instead of x, right? Yeah. So if I say g of f of x, that means I'm now going to put f of x in for x. All right? But the important thing about this is we now have a value for what f of x equals. f of x equals 2x squared minus 5. So let me rewrite this. So g of f of x, which is the question they're asking us, equals f of x squared minus 7. What does f of x equal? f of x equals 2x squared minus 5. All right, so now we need to multiply this out. Do you guys want me to go through the multiplication of 2x minus 5 squared? OK, so when doing 2x minus 5 squared, please do not do this. OK, you do not distribute the squared. Squaring does not distribute amongst addition or subtraction. You have to either apply FOIL or use the box method. I don't care which one you like, but you have to make sure you distribute, right? FOIL or the box method. Yes? Yeah, I don't know why I wrote a 5 there. So therefore, 2x squared times 2x squared is 4x to the fourth. 2x squared times negative 5 is a negative 10x squared. 2x squared times negative 5 is a negative 10 x squared, and negative 5 times negative 5 is 25. Then we notice we have common terms, right? which would be negative 20. So therefore, I have 4x to the fourth minus 20x squared plus 25. All right? Then minus 7. Well, yeah, but we can simplify 25 minus 7, right, to be 18. So therefore, my final answer is 4x to the fourth minus 20x squared plus 18. Well, it's 25 minus 7. 20. Got it. Cool. Any questions? Good? OK. Um, so what I'm going to do is.